What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade here for you. In today's video, I wanted to do a quick demo to the new Kivo Link desktop application, how it works if you purchase the Kivo, and also a few updates. So stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. All right guys, welcome back. So a few updates I wanted to talk about in today's Kivo desktop application review so first things first if you don't have a kivo obviously this doesn't really apply to you however if you're interested in kivo check out my link in the description for your best possible price and we will get started so if you've seen any of my previous kivo reviews comparing to other hardware wallets or just the dedicated unboxing and review video the kivo had is a very high-end premium device but it also had some limitations in terms of coin support when it was first released now they've recently added all ERC20 tokens, over a thousand coins or tokens that are now supported by the device. So as you can see on the screen previously, there was only four coins supported, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and BSV. And now they've added all ERC20 registered tokens. So big ones, obviously, stable coins like Tether and USDC, and then Chainlink, DAI, Maker, OMG, Theta, Aave, Uni, GRT, YFI, Comp, BAT, as you can see here, there are a lot more coins and tokens that are added, which makes this a much better value. We're about to switch over here and take a look at the desktop application. I'll do a quick walkthrough and a quick overview of how it works, but this is the biggest update recently that was announced. So I wanted to do a follow-up video because when I shot the previous videos that only supported four coins, now it will support all ERC20 tokens. Now keep in mind there are some big coins and networks that technically aren't supported yet. For instance, Polkadot's not supported, uh, Solana's not supported, Tezos is not supported, and currently no staking is supported. However, I have been informed that that is something that is going to be rolling out shortly. It's being worked on, it's being tested, and so on. But the biggest release now is that all ERC20 tokens are added. So Let's jump over here and take a quick look. So here is the Kivo Link desktop application. As you can see here, this gives you sort of a portfolio graph. It'll give you a 24 hour change. I withdrew all my coins before the shooting of this video because I didn't want to reveal any information, but you can basically look at your total portfolio or you can go in a drop down menu between any of the coins that you enabled on this device. Over here is going to be your recent transactions that you've had and then below here is just sort of a recap of all your accounts what the current price is what your value is the amount of coin that you hold the percentage change in the last 24 hours and then also your allocation in terms of the overall portfolio so this is just a, sort of an overview of your a snapshot of your overall portfolio when you want to send or i'm sorry when you want to receive you click the down button on the left here it will obviously have you connect your Kivo device through the USB-C cable. Here, you'll obviously choose what kind of coin that you want to receive. So if, for instance, uh, if I want to receive one inch, you just hit continue. It then, on my physical device here, will ask me to enter in my password and my PIN, and then it will generate an address that I can copy and paste. I'll do that real quick here, just so you can see what that process looks like. So, okay, entered my password. Now it's asking for my fingerprint. And as you can see, it's generating a ERC20 token address for one inch. And all I'll have to do is simply just copy address here. I am being told that QR support will be added shortly, but right now it's just simply a copy and paste for the address. So that's for receiving coins. You do have to have the physical device in order to receive your coins. And then on the device screen itself, I'm looking at the same address that you see on my screen here. Obviously, you'll just want to make sure that that matches identically before you do anything. So just keep that in mind. On the left here, the up, this is also sending. So pretty straightforward uh, pop up here for sending. You choose from which address that you actually want to send from. And then you'll put in the destination address. And then you can choose either the dollar, dollar amount or you can do the token amount and then any custom fees if that's something that you want to do. Uh, it'll show you the entire confirmation here and then you'll continue it, you'll authenticate it, and then it will process the transaction and show up in your history. Again, very straightforward as far as the sending and receiving through the desktop application. 
Now, obviously the other big changes, and then here we have the accounts. So this is where you can toggle on or off whichever coins or tokens that you wanna have enabled. In my case right here, I just have Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and then a few ERC20 tokens to test, like One Inch, Aave, Band, Chainlink, Ocean Protocol, Theta Network, Uniswap, USDT, ZRX, and then you can go through here at the bottom here, they literally have every ERC20 token that you can literally scroll through here. Or if there's a specific one, you can go up here to the search catalog. So for example, if I want to find First Blood, I just type in first, and then I can toggle it on right here, and it will show up in my list of active addresses that are toggled on as soon as I'm done. So you can actually find any ERC20 token here through a direct search, or if you actually wanna go through it page by page in alphabetical order, Balancer, for example, that's another high market coin. You just go through and toggle on and off which ones you want in your portfolio, and that's a pretty straightforward process here. Zillica, I mean, again, if you're unsure if your coin is an ERC20 token, you just have to come up here and type in the ticker symbol in the asset catalog or the full name and it will populate right here. So if I want Zillica, I'll just enable that here. So that's pretty straightforward as far as adding tokens or adding coins on the desktop application. I don't wanna drag on because that's pretty self-explanatory here. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of this, leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it for you. The third tab over here is the service plans, which we talked about in my previous review. These are optional, they're not required, but if you wanted extended warranty options, there's an annual fee or a monthly fee to do that. If you wanted to do the secure storage where you put your carbon key uh, backup set to an offsite location, there is an option to do that annually here, $69.99 a year, or you can pay month by month, which is more expensive. And then the beneficiary and secure storage, which is $100 a year. So just keep that in mind that if you want to purchase or add those to your device, you can do it here directly if that's an option that you actually want. And then if you go over to the About tab, this is the sort of the final tab here where it will give you the current app software for the app application. Uh, current one I just updated is 1.9, so it is up to date. Uh, the device firmware, whenever they release anything new, it'll tell you update, or there will be a button here to click update if you're not up to date. Also, every time you open and close the application on your desktop, it will let you know if there's a new release for the uh, software or firmware, so it'll prompt you to do that immediately. And then for the firmware, you can just click on release notes here and it will pop up. Again, the latest firmware ERC20 is enabled, so it allows you to do that here. Different bugs, fixes, token, or ticker symbols, tokens, and then it shows you any of the bug fixes that they you know, updated. So this just gives you a snapshot of any recent changes. So I uh, just wanted to give you sort of that overview here on everything for the Kivo desktop application. This is still in beta. I wanna reiterate that, that it's still being worked on. Don't worry, being in beta doesn't mean that you're at risk of losing any coins or anything like that. Beta just means that as far as adding new features and its full functionality just hasn't been rolled out yet. But everything that is live, meaning everything that you can see yourself, is going to function properly. So don't worry about that. You're not gonna lose any coins. You're not gonna lose any funds or anything like that. I just wanna reiterate that it's still safe to use a beta. However, with that being said, when you compare it to other applications like the Trezor Suite or the Ledger Live where they have different features and bonuses and lending and DeFi and so on and so forth, I do anticipate over time that this is gonna be upgraded, but this is a very simple desktop application as far as you know, getting straight to the point as far as sending, receiving, managing portfolio, adding coins, removing coins, etc., Just keep in mind that this is probably the simplest desktop application I've ever seen. As we just went through it, it's extremely simple. As far as third-party wallet integrations, it doesn't have any, which also makes it simpler. These are all native apps. So just wanted to point that out and put that out there. So if you have a Kivo, the new update, having adding all the new coins and tokens is extremely good. Obviously, you can update it here and edit your accounts and portfolio at any point in time, and it will be reflected and updated. And then also at the top here, the last thing is total portfolio. I wanted to point out that you can go specifically between different coins. So if you wanna just look at your portfolio for Chainlink, for instance, it'll give you the charts and everything and all your transactions specific to that coin. And then the final thing I wanted to re reference here is in the top right corner. I don't wanna click it down because it shows some personal information, but you can sign out. And the reason that you would sign out is because as I mentioned in my previous review videos, 
the Kivo can be used for multiple people or multiple users on the same device so that you can they can actually set up their own account so if you have a boyfriend girlfriend husband wife whatever partner even kids whatever you want to do you can each have your own sort of dashboard and they can log in and log out each time for managing the portfolio so you can each have your own essentially private dashboard and so on and so forth on the device so just wanted to point that out that that's pretty cool this is one of the easiest shared secure crypto hardware wallets out there right now so i'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here again if you have any questions comments or concerns leave that down below and i will see you guys in the next video if you click in the top right it'll just be my full unboxing review on the kibo wallet and i will see you guys in that video crypto renegade out. Thank you.